KSW. Oh, God. Be did. Okay. They've come with gifts. Watch this? Yes. yes. Oh, Our lovely if I remember friend. correctly, yes. you yes. guys gave me the Snuggie last year, didn't yes. you? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I love it. Play by play, remember? Yeah, yeah. I love, love the, the Snuggie. Snuggie. So we're going to have Rick do the play by play again for the gifts? Uh oh. Oh, the Snuggie. Oh, God, it's awesome. A, and you know this is means? awesome again. Oh, this is a sweet looking snug. Carly Davidson. Rick, Rick, what's happening to me? I'm getting that this that, that a snuggie is like I'm so excited. That's a good. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, is it, is it happening? Am I, am I getting? Yeah. It's happening. That's, it's that's where we wind up. We wind up in a snuggie on the couch with the remote control. I know. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Watching the M's game. Look at this. Oh, Vicky's oh, what's got that? a little oh, baggy. Way to Thank go. Oh, oh, oh Toppy's got T-shirts over there. One's for you. Oh, nice. Toppy, whichever one you don't want, I will take. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. <laughs> very, very good. Very cool. Have we identified? Uh, have we identified where they're from? No, we've just been going crazy well, over come here. On, ladies, introduce the place, the whole thing. Downtown Harley Davidson, Renton. Kathy, Julie, Julie. Yay! Nice. We uh, love these by girls. By the way, winner of the Best of Western Washington Motorcycle Shop for the fourth year nice. in a row. Four years. Thank wow. you. Wow. Well, how about that? Hey. Can you? I mean, wait, come Can't on. With, with two fine employees like this and owners and who knows what else, probably czars. Uh, yeah. Can you? Can you really? Of course, they're going to win. <laughs> Well, yeah. you're not. You're yeah. around greatness too. I'm the number four podcast in all of Washington. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How about that? With a bullet, though. Yes, with a bullet. After this, you're going to be three. I'm looking for number two. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. Are you going to style that snuggie there? Oh, you want to style it on? All right, sure thing. What you got there, Vic? I got a coffee mug. It. Oh, you need that. It's really that. pretty. Yeah, that is very cool. Oh, I got a sack of coal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go again. Oh, BJ I'm so happy to get this because I moved, and I put my snuggie in a box, and I can't find it. So it's like, I, oh, so I'm like, this is this is perfect. This will. Wait till my wife sees this. She already makes fun yeah. of me anyway when she sees me rocking a snuggie. Oh, but there's a, room for your wife in yeah. that snuggie. Oh, this, oh, oh really? Oh, this oh, yeah. is extra. Oh, look at this. This is big time, Steve. Look at that. There's oh. one sleeve. I think you're putting it on the wrong way. Oh, yeah. there's no instructions? <laughs> what kind of snuggy? Where are you? You think you're putting it on like a robe? Don't even, there you this go. This is crazy talk. Right? It looks like Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Doesn't he? Listen, <laughs> Steve's blocked up. Harley Davidson, Obi Wan. Look at that, huh? Yeah. Nice. Wow. That's right, baby. Nice. Luke, I'm your All oh, right. Now where's that? <laughs> It's a recliner and a little bowl of popcorn. I'm yep, good. Yep, and a yep. remote control. There you go. Well, you know what I really need now is a Mariners game, Rick. That's all I, I need. I know it. Let's do it. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mariners baseball. BJ <laughs> <laughs> Shea's got a Snuggie. He's all ready to go hey, for the season. Snuggie day. Yeah, oh, Snuggie yeah, day at the ballpark. Yeah, some of those early days in April where it's a little chilly. Yeah, you need a Snuggie. Yeah. Have the players wear them while they play. You know what? Here's what I want to <laughs> wear. Good idea. I like that. Rick, how about this? How about next year? I wear this at Safeco because it's chilly in October. Uh, I like that. Uh, yeah. I like that because you know what that means. That's right. Uh, baseball. It's coming. Cool, cool snuggy time. It's coming. I'm telling you, it's coming. They, they're building, baby. They're building. We can make a theme song about Ten this. Ten seconds. Snuggy Ten time. Ten seconds. Oh, now, here we go. Time All to right, do radio. You guys talking to radio. I'll watch. <laughs> well, BJ, I'm very excited. Our next guest, he's a well-respected broadcaster, the voice of our Seattle Mariners, which begs the question, why in the world is he going to be on a show like ours? Good point. <laughs> Please welcome to the show, Rick Riz. Hey, BJ, Steve, thank oh. you very much, Ricky. It's nice to be here with uh, the ladies from Harley Davidson. So uh, you can't go wrong with that. Good company. I, I, exactly. So uh, you invited me, and I came down to talk a little baseball and. Uh, our charity, so anything you want to talk about. Well, it's the perfect, and I'm giving the perfect segue, because every time Rick Riz comes in the studio, uh, Rick knows I'm a huge baseball yeah, fan, yeah. grew up in Boston, so my eyes light up as, like, like it's Christmas every time Rick comes in, and actually, it's because of Christmas that Rick is in. Exactly. We have our Toys for Kids charity, we have our big dinner and auction coming up on Saturday night at the Bellevue Harbor Club. Uh, this has been a great event for us. It's our 16th year. Last year, we raised over $145,000 with the help of so many people. And we work with 16 different homeless agencies uh, here in King County. And last year we purchased toys for nearly 6,000 homeless kids, kids in hospitals, wow. and underprivileged children working with these wonderful people who work at these agencies to help these kids. And uh, it started uh, 16 years ago with myself and Dave Henderson and 12 of the well, they were cor current players at the time. You know, Edgar Martinez, now former players, yeah. Edgar Martinez and Jay Buner and Jamie Moyer and Jeff Nelson and uh, Dan Wilson. 
And uh, we decided to try to help some kids who, who need our help and their moms. And uh, we started Toys for Kids 16 years ago. And now it's getting big. And we're going to have a lot of fun on Saturday night and raise a lot of money. And, uh, and Rick, of course, if anybody wants to figure out more about this, just go to rickstoysforkids.org. We have a silent auction and a live auction on Saturday night. Yeah, so I, saw this like, I, I think one of the auction items is a jersey that's signed by all the guys from back in the day. And it's right. like, whoa, that's, that would be a great, because that's when they all yeah. got back together just for the anniversary, and yeah. they all signed the jersey. Exactly. We have a jersey, a Mariners jersey, with the number 116 on the back. Oh, nice. yeah. And that's from our 2001 ball club that set the Major League record oh, nice. with 116 wins. Isn't that crazy? That was, that was 10, 10 years, years ago. ago. Yeah. So all the guys had, all the guys that came back in, uh, for the reunion, I had them sign it, so that's one of the auctions. Can't items. we dress those guys? They're not that old. They're only 10 years older. They could probably do some wonders I, out there on the field. You know, I, I just saw Edgar uh, a few days ago. Edgar Martinez is home. He had a, he had a benefit for his uh, Martinez Foundation. I, I think the guy can still get up in the morning yeah. and hit. And, uh, we, we could have used him last year. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I want to do, Rick. I want to start it off. I'd love everybody listening right now, all the KISW Rockaholics, if if you could give anything, I know it's a tough time, but really, if everybody just says, look, I got a buck, I got five bucks, whatever it is, right now what we're going to do, we're going to start it off, the the BJ Shea Experience, the show, we're going to throw a thousand bucks, we're going to give wow. it, we're starting it off right oh, now. Oh, that's, my goodness. That's what we're going to do. Well, wow. He gave that me a Snuggie. Bumps. I lost my Snuggie. He gave oh, me another Harley goodness. Snuggie. That's worth the G right Can now. I be oh. a ball boy for a day? That's a lot of money, BJ. Yeah, wow. sure you can. All right, then I'm in. And of course, Rick, we got to talk a little baseball. Sure, no doubt about that. Uh, it, first of all, what a heck of a year! Uh, granted, you know the Mariners were not involved really. I mean, kind of, sort of, because there was. But that last game of the season and the way this whole playoff World Series thing oh, came up to be, and then of course, you know, all the drama with uh, well, a couple of teams, especially the Red Sox, with all the mm-hmm. craziness that went on there. I mean, this has to be one of the most memorable seasons in baseball I can imagine. No doubt about it. I mean, you know, from our standpoint. Uh, they started with a plan. Jack Zarensic and Eric Wedge, uh, a young manager who who did this before in Cleveland in 2003 with a young ball club, and he took the Indians uh, four years later to within one win of the World Series in uh, 2000. What, what was it? Uh, 2007, and and did the same thing this year. They started off with a plan. We had 18 rookies on our ball club this year. Twelve made their major league debuts. So they said, we're going to let the kids play. We're going to find out what we have and build a foundation. So the house can go on top of that foundation. You know you're going to move forward with Michael Pineda, an all-star at the yeah. age of 22. Oh, yeah. Blake Bevan did a heck of a job, too, in that yeah. starting oh, Blake, rotation. Yeah, Blake Dustin was Dustin Ackley, our first-round pick, number two pick overall a couple of springs ago. You're going to move forward with Kyle Seeger. Mike Carp was incredible yeah. in the second half of the season, hitting and hitting you know, for power. And also, you nice have smoke back after that. Justin, and, smoke, poor yeah. kid. You know, we lost. saw that. We were at that game where he got hit oh, in the face, man. Yeah. That was brutal. He that was hurt was, three yeah. times during the course of the year. Early in the season, his father passed yeah. away. So he's going to be healthy this year and provide a lot. So there's six guys you know you're going to move forward with for next year. So you've got to build that foundation. I think they did that this year. They got that first year under the belt. So next year is going to be much, much better. We're going to have some fun next year. But And then the baseball season itself, uh, the collapse of the Red Sox, the, the Atlanta Braves they had that big lead. And then the World Series was one of the most intriguing, one of the most exciting highest, in years. They were the, uh, game 7 was the highest rated show last week. I think game 6 was number 3 or 4. Which is pretty impressive because weren't they saying the first couple yeah. games were a ratings bust at first? They were like, eh, it's not doing all that great in the ratings. But then you realize how great these games were. And we were in Texas for those last two games. Just Were by really? chance. Oh, my. You could hear a pin drop in the bar when they lost game six. Yeah. It was, oh, yeah. wow. The network said, oh, man, it's going to be Texas and St. Louis. It's not New right. York. It's not Boston. But the beauty of our game, it was great baseball and uh, exciting. And for game six, one of the all-time great games that ever was played in postseason history and World Series history, the intrigue, the excitement coming back, Texas within one strike away from winning, not once but twice, and once in the ninth, yeah. once in the tenth. That was crazy, oh, And it was just uh, it was great that baseball, back, great drama. That brought back, uh, and, and Hendu surely can remember this one, the oh, guy, the guy, that brought back 1986 for me, because <laughs> I mean, that's exactly <laughs> where the Red Sox were against the Mets. And speaking of the Mets, uh, oh, go ahead, Rick, yeah. I was just going to say, one of the auction items, uh, Hendu... Uh, uh, donated an autographed baseball by the 1986 Boston Red Sox and a bat signed by everybody. Mel Stottlemyre oh, is going to be at the auction as well. Whoa. Mel was the pitching coach 
for the New York Mets, oh, who won it yeah. in 1986. How am I not so you at this dinner? How, baseball. How did I you want to go? I, I, well, you want to go? I'll, I'll leave you two tickets. Oh, look at this. You and your right, wife. I'll, I'll get you with you go. to see if I, because i got to check my schedule. If but you want to go. I, because, uh, you can wear your snuggie. Actually, you know what? I just, <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> what if you put the bow tie on? A little bit of a dress coat. Do you guys have a tuxedo snuggie? That's a wonderful thing. But these ladies from Harley Davidson, let's hear it for them. Oh, there you go. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.